this is what we're going to say. You're going to say we're in our studio, and then I'm just going to say a little bit about how why I love this project, and then you're going to say why you love it. Why do you love it? Why do I love the film? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not going to tell you because you'll probably steal it. Okay. So so let's try not to use our hands because I feel like every time... <sighs> Should we say hi everyone and then say who we are? Seems like a good icebreaker. Yeah. Okay. Hi everyone. Wait, I use my hand. You use your hand. Jeez. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Washing a car. I'm the one who uses <laughs> We really want to get this film out into the world. Hi, I'm Sean Bloomfield from Stella Mar Films, and this is... Samela Kidanakis. Also from Stella Mar Films. You probably know Apparition Hill, our last movie that was in theaters and now on DVD and streaming. Um, but we're here to tell you about where there is darkness and ask for your support. We were just in the movie theater trying to make this video, but it just didn't work out. So There we... was popcorn everywhere. <laughs> hey guys, Sean from Please Stella Mar. Over. Hey guys. This is the... As filmmakers, we're not used to being in front of the camera. We want to share more glimpses with you guys, and we're excited to make the movie, but we really need your support. Today happens to be the two-year anniversary from the day that Father René Robert was murdered, which is a very sad thing, especially for his family and friends. But this movie is not a sad movie. It's a movie about love and a movie about mercy. It was sad because Father René was murdered, but it was beautiful that he was talking to everybody even after he died with this letter, the Declaration of Life. When I talked to Sean and Jesse, our other co-filmmaker about it, we all decided this was a story that we had to follow. We wanted to make sure people knew about this letter. But as we've been documenting the story, there's more to the story than that Declaration of Life. And so that's what we're excited to bring to you. We've been talking a lot. Does anybody out there have any questions? Oh my gosh, so many questions. Yes, Jonathan? I mean, random person? Uh, yes, I was wondering what's the most unusual experience you've uh, encountered during your exploration of this story? That's a good question. That is a great question. I, I really want to talk about this a lot, too. Yeah, let's just answer his questions, what we want to talk about. <laughs> the St. John's County Sheriff's Office uh, lent their SWAT team to us. You know, you're thinking maybe you're going to have actors, they don't really know how to be SWAT-like. But we had the real SWAT team come out, and there was like eight of them and they were amazing to work with. And so we'll show little glimpses of it in the corner here. Over, over my face, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> you know, a lot of Father Rene's friends uh, called him the saint. A lot of people have this image of, of saints as perfect people. They weren't perfect, they had quirks, just like Father Rene had quirks, but their faith was radical and they, they did extraordinary things because of their faith. And that's Father Rene, you know, he, he did so many amazing things because of his faith. After a child was born deaf and blind, people prayed for Father Rene's intercession, and the child was healed and can see and hear now. And we actually believe that maybe this film will lead to Father Rene becoming a saint one day. So to do our reenactments, we needed to find actors, and we did our casting call and found a, a great young actor named Eric Newcomb to play the role of Stephen. And then we found a, a guy out in Oregon, which is the exact opposite uh, way from Florida, named Dick McMahon to play Father Rene. So Father René wasn't born with the name Father René, or René at all. His original name was Richard Wayne, his first and middle name. And he later changed it when he became a priest. But the crazy thing is that when Dick came out, we learned that his name is also Richard Wayne, first and middle name. It turns out that Dick's wife's sister was a parishioner of Father René. She was able to tell Dick all about Father René's mannerisms and um, how he spoke and what he was like, and, and we feel like that was a, a really interesting connection. While we were filming the reenactments, we happened to come across a homeless man who had a beanie that had New York Yankees on it. And it's interesting because Father Rene was always wearing his New York Yankees hat. And, um, oh, here it is. And I thought, whoa, what if Father Rene actually gave him that beanie? Our actor, Dick McMahon, sat by him and they talked for a long time. This man had such an amazing story and it was just like a glimpse into what Father Renee's life was probably like. Him sitting down with people no matter what situation or where they came from. Helping them feel human again. That was one of the many amazing and beautiful moments that we've experienced in this uh, about a year now of, of capturing this story. And 
We've, we've captured 95% of the footage. We've already edited uh, parts of it, but we really, really need a budget to finish it and to release it in theaters and uh, eventually on DVD and streaming to the world. Um, this is a film we hope to also get into film festivals and, and spread Father Renee's message far and wide. So if you believe in our work, if you believe in this project, please go to Indiegogo and donate to the Where There Is Darkness campaign. We have some pretty cool perks. This one's designed by Samela Kerenakis. This is Brother Wolf and if there's a legend with St. Francis and the Wolf, look it up. We also wrote about it on our website. So Father Rene was a Franciscan priest when he first started out in the priesthood. In fact, the title of our film, Where There Is Darkness, comes from the St. Francis Peace Prayer. Where there is darkness, let me bring light. Father Rene certainly was a light in the darkness. And we hope this film will be a light in the darkness. We think Father Rene's story will inspire people to get out there and help the less fortunate, just like Father Rene did. In a way, this film's going to make the world a better place if we can just get it out there. So. It's hard for us to ask for help, but at the same time, we know there are so many people out there like you who support our work and support this mission. And, you know, we're, we're just holding the camera and trying to edit the film and, and we pray for God's help in that. But we also know that we need your help and that's why we're coming to you through the internet now. So um, we can't imagine working on any project that we didn't feel passionate about. We only have 23 days left, so uh, please share it far and wide and, and help us reach that goal. Thank and you. thank you so much to everyone who's already supported us and helped us. We couldn't make these films without your help. How does a 10 or 20 second video take all day? <laughs> Uh, a talented veteran actor named Dick McMahon. Uh, Eric actually came in character she as always Stephen. Me. Eric actually came in character it's as okay. Stephen Murray. It's okay. <laughs> and he, we were. I don't mind. <laughs> Jonathan left because we bored him. Our one audience member left.